everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at some of our daily life experiences where we encounter this Newton's first law of motion. So let's get started. Now, first of all, we'll brush up our concepts. That is the Newton's first law of motion, which states that an object remains in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change that state by an applied force. So this is the statement of the Newton's first law of motion. Now this law, as we said, is, is also called as the law of inertia. Now inertia is of three kinds that we have already looked at. The, those are the inertia of rest, inertia of motion and inertia of direction. Now inertia, as we know, is the tendency of a body to resist a, a change in its state of rest or motion in a straight line. So let us uh, look at these three types of inertias one by one and look at the experiences that is our daily life experiences in which we come across these three things. So let's do that. So first of all, we'll be looking at the inertia of rest, which is the tendency of a body to stay or to remain in the state of rest unless it is compelled by an externally applied force to change that state of rest. Now, it's a common experience for all of us to travel in a bus and very often we do not get a seat, so we need to stand. Now, suppose we stand, we are standing in a bus which is not moving, that is at rest. Now, suppose the bus suddenly starts moving, what happens? What happens when the bus suddenly starts moving and we are standing on the bus, I mean inside the bus? We get a sudden backward jerk or we fall backwards as, as soon as the bus starts moving. Now here is the place where the inertia of rest of a body comes into picture. Now this happens because our feet are in contact with the floor of the bus here. Now, when the bus suddenly starts moving, what happens is our feet along with the bus, I mean along with the floor of the bus, start moving, but the upper part of our body, which was at rest before the bus has started, continues to be in the state of rest or it tries to be in the state of rest itself. And in the process, the upper part of the body uh, doesn't move or it resists movement. And that's the reason why we get a backward jerk or we fall backwards. So the backward jerk is because of this uh, is because of the sudden start of the bus, which brings the bus along with the floor of the bus to motion. But the rest of our body, I mean the lower part of the body uh, was in motion along with the bus, but the upper part of our body was at rest and it continues to be in the same state of rest. And due to the property of inertia of rest of the upper part of the body, we got a backward jerk. Now, let us move ahead to inertia of motion, which is the property or tendency of a body to be in the same state of uniform motion unless compelled by an applied force to change that state of motion. So here, for example, when we are sitting inside a bus, I mean a moving bus, which is moving with a particular velocity, and let's say it comes to a stop suddenly, then what happens is we get a forward jerk like this. We, 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 we fall forwards or we move forwards when the bus suddenly comes to a stop. Now this is the place where the inertia of motion of our bodies come into picture. Now what happens is in this case, the lower part of our body is in contact with the bus. And when the bus suddenly stops, the lower part of the body along with the bus comes to a stop. But the upper part of the body which was moving with the velocity in which the bus was moving prior to, prior to stoppage, and it tries to move in this, with the same velocity in the same direction. And that's the reason why, I mean, in the process, what happens is we fall forward with the same velocity. And this is an attempt in which our bodies 
try to move with the same velocity in which they were moving previously that is the velocity of the bus so with the application of brakes the bus stops but our body tends to be in the same state of motion and because and this is because of its inertia of motion and this causes our bodies to lurch forward or to fall forward so this is a place where we observe the inertia of motion of our bodies now let's talk about the inertia of direction which is the tendency of a body to move along a particular direction and it is it is not changed the direction of the body is not changed unless an externally applied force acts onto it and compels it to change that particular direction in which it was moving now this is observed when uh, let's say we are inside a car we are sitting inside a car and i mean this car is moving and we are inside the car sitting in the seats of this car now suppose the car has to take a turn or a sharp turn like this so what happens is when the car takes the turn our bodies or uh, we uh, whoever is sitting inside the car we what happens is we slip to one side of the car or one side of the seat now this happens because we try to move in the same direction in which the car was already moving and in the process what happens is we slip to one corner of the seat so when an unbalanced force is applied by the engine to change the direction of motion of the motor car we slip to one side of the seat due to the inertia of our body that is the inertia of direction of our body in order to continue in the same direction of motion so in an attempt to continue to be in the same direction of motion our bodies slip to one corner of the seat of the car when the car takes a sharp turn so these are some common experiences which we come across in our everyday activities in which we see these three kinds of inertia or we can say uh, these are the experiences in which we encounter the newton's first law of motion so i hope this video was fully understandable to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning